Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind-the-scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Here I am! I've been avoiding this song. Whoa. I've been avoiding this song for the past three weeks because I thought it was just so obvious to go there, but but they did it today, so we're going there. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Welcome to Scorpion, to the song and the After Buzz show. <laughs> uh, my name is Nando Velasquez, and joining me, as always, uh, directly to my side, two beautiful ladies. First Hello. of all, right next to me, Marina Santos. Hey, guys. And Monse Bolanos. Hello, everybody. Hi. Yeah. Hey. It's such a good song. I know. It is, I know. A, good, it is a good song, and... It and Hey, like I said, it just felt like it was too obvious two right. weeks ago. It's like, we don't have a song. What do we do? Oh, it's Scorpion. Mm-hmm. they're like, no, no, let's wait. And Perfect Toby moment. Toby made it their theme song. Yep. So, uh, it's official. It's official. Mm-hmm. So we're celebrating with them. So, uh, <laughs> so we, are, uh, we are actually going to recap uh, episode three, mm-hmm. which is also called A Cyclone. Yes. Which, very interesting fact. I was wondering why it was being called a cyclone. We found out at the very, very end yes. that uh, that is what a group of scorpions are called. Mm-hmm. So, uh, keeping with the theme of scorpion. You know, one thing, I, th- I think I read it on one of the comments uh, last week that uh, why is this, and, and obviously this is uh, based on the real life of Walter mm-hmm. O'Brien and his team, uh, which he calls Scorpion. And uh, I, I, I read it somewhere, like people still trying to figure out exactly what does Scorpion mean. I read somewhere that it's because Scorpions are loyal, and, and they did bring that up. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. So that seems to be, there's a lot of loyalty and a lot of trying to fit in. I noticed that it was a theme in this episode, mm-hmm. yeah. and, and just the fact that a cyclone of Scorpions stick together. Right. So uh, very, very interesting. So uh, overall, what were your thoughts on the show, first of all, on this episode? I thought it was very entertaining, this episode. Mm-hmm. You know, and funny. There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> like quick funny moments yeah. or quick lines that just made the show even better. I agree. I think it's a it's always a winner if you kind of lose track of time and mm-hmm. what you're doing or if you're trying to get through commercials or for me I stop writing because it's so much is happening. You always stop yeah. writing. You I did know, that but last you know week. Exactly. <laughs> so much is happening that like I have to watch because mm. if I write, then I lose what's happening. Mm. So much happens in seconds. They say things here, clever things here and there. Like you said, it's mm. so funny. It's not. It's not at all what I thought the show was going to be about. I'm pleasantly surprised. Okay. How it's going? Uh, no, it's great so far. I, yeah. I agree, definitely. It, it's going. It's going somewhere. I, I really like what they're doing. The more and more I read up on this show. Uh, even even when we're not watching the show, the right. more and more I like it, mm-hmm. and I like what it's all about. And uh, so let's get started on this. Uh, yeah. Let's get started on recapping this episode for right now. So I want to bring up the first scene because I thought it was so <laughs> awesome yeah. seeing a, a Rubik's Cube competition. And and it wasn't just the normal Rubik's Cube no. competition because these people are geniuses. Mm-hmm. And it's not, Ru- it wasn't us competing. <laughs> it wasn't us competing. With one. We'd be sitting there for years like, oh, nobody wins. I've never even, I've never been, I throw that it was that a collection it was a collection of rubik's cubes and they had a time limit and they were solving a bunch and walter actually goes behind the back the yeah. blind bomber technique as toby calls it to try and intimidate sylvester uh it, you know because sylvester doesn't know exactly what he's doing behind his back and uh yeah they had like about i don't know i didn't count but yeah. it seemed like they had about 12 or 15 rubik's cubes oh, that yeah. were solved. Yeah. i i got a little secret i i know how to kind of solve a rubik's cube <gasps> I actually you read a. Share I, know. I read a book. We're bringing a Rubik's cube next yeah. week. You know oh, how to? Our, our Marissa. producer Marissa too. It's all algorithms. That's it. <gasps> oh, I'm look bringing at that. one in because <laughs> I want to. I want to figure out. I can yeah. show you. Our, yes. Well, well here's please. the here's the catch though. Here's the catch. So if you bring it in, I'll show you that I know how to solve exactly two thirds of a Rubik's cube because I never finished the book. Marissa can finish <laughs> it. I, I can finish. There the was book. a book oh, that I read and I know the pattern. It's really not that hard. Marissa reminds me of Happy actually. <laughs> <laughs> not till like. 
brag or anything, but I know how. Not to oh, brag. Oh, no. But brag. You hashtag should for, brag. Hashtag Hell I yeah. am bragging. If I did, I would be like taking selfies with yeah. it all day. Marissa, by the way, Marissa, yeah, you're actually right. Marissa is happy. She's yeah. happy. She's happy in this group. She doesn't know. She has. I don't think yeah, you've been happy, watching the show. I haven't watched the show. Happy but is I think the girl in the show. I think that's Yeah, good, she's right? extremely she's smart. She's a genius. The girl in the show. Is, you know what? I'll take that. And she punches a, a guy. She's a badass. Nice. Yeah. She's a badass. She's a yeah. badass. Yeah. I already like her. Yeah. <laughs> I've never watched the show. But so I like yeah, it. take it as, a, as an extreme compliment. Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so the guys, this is their idea of goofing off too. Right. It's kind of their idea of letting off some steam, of uh, relaxing. You know, instead of a normal person, be what playing video games, just <laughs> yeah. resting, drinking, eating whatever, eating pizza. Yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> You're just hungry. <laughs> uh, but these guys, they, these guys have to be mentally uh, entertained at all times. I guess. Right. So they're. they're they're always working. And Gallo comes over to get them. They have this big day, and we find out they're going to uh, be working with Homeland Security on a training mission, mm -hmm. which I thought was pretty darn funny, the whole mission, actually. I mean, yeah. we see that yeah. first shot of the soldiers on one side of the Humvee, and, uh, and then we see them all dressed up in Sylvester, especially in his military fatigues. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous, actually. Yeah. Something yeah. out of like Revenge of the Nerds or something, the way they're <laughs> dressed up, going into battle. And uh, and their their mission is to uh, get some files that are encrypted and I guess save the hostages. And Happy's a hostage, and Gala's a hostage, and they have a couple of other people. So uh, it seems like there's a lot going on mm -hmm. and a lot of wrong stuff going on. So Walter is questioning authority. Uh, Sylvester is all nervous and he freezes. That's a big thing. He yep. totally freezes, and Walter ends up trying to save his butt there. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, they just was too slow, and the insurgents end up capturing the hostages or mm -hmm. killing them, so to speak, which mm -hmm. me which makes Happy want to punch somebody out. So she punches out one of the Marines yeah. uh, because he touched her apparently inappropriately. We still don't know where. <laughs> Toby really wanted to know where. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah so you know. It shows that, I mean, this, this team is a brilliant team. They work well together. But I think the problem is they don't work. And, and actually, when, when they started questioning and saying all the things that went wrong, mm -hmm. Walter went back and said, no, your soldiers slowed us down. Yeah. So pretty, pretty ballsy, mm -hmm. don't you think? Oh, yeah. Pointing the finger at somebody else. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it's very difficult for anybody to work with them. You know, they can work within themselves because yes. they understand each other. Mm -hmm. But when they're put in a situation where they have to work with other people, mm. uh, they always come across as rude yeah. and very smart ass. Yeah. You know, their comments, they never take blame. Right. They always think they're right. And, you know, that's not how you work in teamwork, even though most of the time they are right. Even though most of the, which they yeah. mentioned later on, most of the time they are right. They're so used to being right that it's right. it's impossible for them to actually picture themselves, especially with the people they work with that mm -hmm. don't have the knowledge they have. Yeah. You know, I think they, they have, obviously it's a major social issue. And, in fact, uh, you know, you could see that, that, uh, you know, the way I look at them, they're very high maintenance. I mean, especially Sylvester. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, just imagine Sylvester, like, out in Desert Storm or doing a mission, really, with military. Right, yeah. I mean, I wrote down, like, he said when he jumped out of the uh, out of the car, he said he had uh, plantar fasciitis. I was going to look up. I was yeah. going to look up what it meant. We didn't have a chance to look it up, but it was, like, plantar fasciitis, and I'm like, oh, my God, obviously. Everything. Yeah, he, he's I mean, just, he's... and him freezing, uh, you know, which, which we kind of saw a tiny bit last week. When he was uh, on that mission to get those files in the in the in the pharmaceutical company, that you know he can get nervous really easily and freak out over germs or whatever. But still, mm -hmm. under pressure, uh, you know, we saw his OCD in the first episode with the chalk. He under pressure, he gets distracted easily and can freeze up. Yeah. Plantar so. fasciitis is one of the most common causes of heel heel pain. It involves pain and inflammation <laughs> in your heel. Oh it's even gosh. funnier the fact I figured it was something goofy like right. that. Yeah. Something ridiculous. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. So he has heel he suffers from heel pain. Yeah. Inflammation or, or he of, says he does, right? Like he Yeah. Oh, it's inflammation of thick tissue on the bottom of your foot. So it's it's definitely your foot. The bottom of your foot, your heel. Thick tissue in the bottom of your foot. Okay, awesome. That's I'm <laughs> sorry that Sylvester has that. <laughs> I'm so you know we should we should start a telephone for that. Yeah, let's get him some money. Get him some money. <laughs> there we go. Because uh, yeah, so absolutely. <laughs> so anyway, so Homeland Security not too happy with Team Scorpion mm -hmm. right now, and uh, Merrick, who is the head of Homeland Security, and you know we we learn a little bit that Gallo actually you know he's already being considered crazy for mm -hmm. assembling a team of geniuses to work with Homeland. So obviously uh, he's hearing it from Merrick mm -hmm. and Merrick decides to ground uh, the team. Right. Mm -hmm. So 
Uh, you know, before we move on to to what the mission's about, also it's safe to say that Paige is also dealing with her own stuff. She's dropping off Ralph. It seems like Ralph's starting off at a new school. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, so so she's trying to convince Ralph he has a job to get along with the kids and go to school, right. and just trying to get him acclimated. And uh, and she's also picking up her last paycheck. We get to see her diner owner probably for the last time, for all I know. Right. And he's even questioning like what she's doing, like what her job is. And there's a lot of questioning about Paige this episode yeah. too. There was a, a lot, lot of that, her. a lot yeah. about her, a lot about Ralph trying to fit into school, and then her fitting in. It, it, it was interesting the comparison that she made later on in the episode that it was like Ralph fitting in with all the cool kids, right? And here she is with all the nerdy, geeky, inc- incredibly intelligent kids, and and where she would be in the real world, she would be probably in the more, um, she wouldn't be in the minority. No, no, she'd absolutely probably, not. She's she'd probably, probably like the pretty girl in school that everybody yeah. likes. She would right? be the cool kid, but yeah. here it's the exact opposite. Yeah. She's being boxed out by yeah. the cool kids in Scorpion, yeah. right? So, which yeah. I think is really, really interesting. I love that comparison that she used. Yeah, she's mm-hmm. like, "Don't box me out like the cool kids." Like the cool kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, the thing about Paige, which I love too, is that she is very pretty, mm-hmm. and, and as Catherine McPhee, she's very, very pretty, but she also has a very is that your woman crush. Yeah, she's one of many women crushes. <laughs> Let's be honest. I have a lot of women crushes. But yes, she's a, she's, she definitely fits into that she woman crush. Yeah, you, you two are also my woman crush. How about Aww. that? There well, we, we, oh, we do fall points. into the look of Catherine McPhee. There you go. Yeah. There so, you go. Totally. It's true. <laughs> okay, this got we awkward. Blushed. We uh, blushed. You blushed. This got awkward. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people watching the show also have crushes on you too. Also, and wow. Catherine Mwah. McPhee. Yes, and, and Catherine McPhee. McPhee. She is very right. adorable. Yeah, she absolutely very. She has adorable. that like the girl next door look. You yeah, know? even though she's not blonde with blue eyes. Yeah, <laughs> which is, so Brian and I. Why do you that. say? Why do you say that only blonde hair, blue well, eyed girls know. are the girl next door? Well, I don't know. It's like the stereotype. Maybe in Brazil, it's the girl next door. No, if you find a girl next door that is blonde and blue eyed, it's rare in Brazil yeah, yeah. I, mean, so okay. yeah. <laughs> I think the girl next door can be uh, a lot of different hairstyles or whatever so maybe because they're the, the actual movie the girl next door the girl is blonde and blue eyes I mean but that was a porn star in the yeah, girl next it? door yeah yeah you were talking about the Alicia Cuthbert movie yeah oh, I'm thinking which, of a different the girl one, next door oh yeah that's what I was thinking okay about. okay no I know what you're talking about but I'm thinking of a different one okay never which mind. she's also Shh. that's one of my women crushes right yeah, there Alicia Cuthbert yeah she's hot yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I was always under the impression that the girl next door was someone who is more approachable like, right like, yes, yes. Sweet. So, I agree. so in, in that sense I would always think of it as more of a brunette or even an auburn-haired girl. Oh, so, interesting. Well, we'll own. take that. Apparently, we live in different neighborhoods. So <laughs> our girls next door are very. Very different. So it's all good. So, uh, <laughs> What's your girl next door, people? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so we're digressing a little bit here. Yep. So let's get into uh, let's get into the actual case for this week. So uh, which which of course they're grounded. Uh, mm-hmm. Team Scorpion is grounded at the beginning of this. So so a lot of this is them going off there on their own. But a bomb uh, explodes at a law firm, mm-hmm. and it causes havoc. And uh, you know Gallo is at the at their base when he brings it up. So mm-hmm. Scorpion knows about it. Team Scorpion knows about it, and they decide to go out there and discover what's going on. And of course, you know, it's not just, it, you know, the, they think it's just a bomb at a law firm and right. there was a note saying, uh, you know, I'm going to get you or whatever it was to, to that guy, uh, the lawyer, yeah. um, Mark Brown, I think it was. Mark Brown Family Law. Yeah, place. very, very mm-hmm. generic name. Of just course. screams incredibly generic. Mm-hmm. Uh, but of course, Walter goes down there and within like two seconds, they say, no, this is a terrorist attack. Right. And the interesting thing right then and there, too, is uh, Keeler, Agent mm-hmm. Keeler from the FSG, which I personally have never heard of before. I'm glad they explained it. The Federal um, Surveillance Surveillance Group, Group, Mm -hmm. uh, which I haven't had a chance to look up. I don't know if that's a real um, agency or not, but it's the first time I've ever heard of those those, uh, names. But it's a very interesting group. They're in charge of all surveillance. So very, very interesting uh, faction. You're looking that up for me, Monty? Yep, I'm on it. Awesome. She's on it. She's our techie. (laughs) She's our techie. We got happy on the the ones and twos. I have no idea who I am yet. I feel like I'm Paige because I'm not doing anything. You're Paige? All right, Marina, you're going to be Paige. I'm just smiling and looking around at you guys do the work. (laughs) It's all good. It's all good. So anyway, so we have Keeler uh, coming on, and he's an uh, official with the FSG, shows his badge, and he's listening over to Team Scorpion. But Team Scorpion's pretty much grounded. Again, every time Team Scorpion Mm -hmm. shows up, 
uh, with a government official, they're pretty much like, oh, who are these guys? Yeah, why are they here? Why are they here? So, so there's definitely a lot of mistrust uh, between the government agencies and and, and Scorpion. And yes. I, I do not think that this is a real thing. Yes. There is an FBI special surveillance group, mm -hmm. but it's under the FBI, but they're not called FSG. No. Okay, so, so it's, it, uh, it might be like a branch off, like they probably got it from that idea, but it's not a real thing. I didn't have time to write it down, but toward the end, I mm -hmm. think they said F FSG was like a black ops group. So, mm, so, so that's possible that they made it up or or, or whatever. So yeah. it's it's very possible it's not an official. The name group. maybe is what they made up, but there are this is like a thing, you know. With I am sure yeah. people are surveilling us right now. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. even even if people are not on YouTube. And they're talking about us right now. They're like stupid. They think we're not real. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what they're thinking. Speaking of surveillance, let's actually <laughs> let's segue before we go on, just because I don't want to forget about this. Uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in on iTunes and on. Uh, on on YouTube and writing comments. We love reading uh, you guys, and we've been getting lots of great feedback from you mm -hmm. guys so far. Uh, we've gotten, I'll read the iTunes group later because I don't have that up in front of me right now, but thank you on YouTube to uh, Ram Simkins, and forgive me if I mess up any of these names. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Deborah Battle, that one's an easy one to remember. All right, mm -hmm. Tickle DT Lady, I got your name right because you spelled <laughs> it out. Thank yeah. you so much. Gabriel McNeil, uh, and Chris Gaiman, or Gaiman, excuse me, Matt Rapausch. Pouch and explain Jade. Thank you so much on YouTube for writing some notes. Uh, you know, we have a couple of comments also from YouTube. Please uh, subscribe to us if you haven't on YouTube. Rate us, comment. We love fives. We are currently Hi. reaching out to CBS Publicity <laughs> to try and get some guests on, whether the cast or producers. So it would be really, really awesome. Uh, and when you guys comment and you rate and you say you like us, it gives us something to show to publicists. It helps all our shows on AfterBuzz because we have lots of great guests on all of our other shows. We do about 80 different shows here a, a week at AfterBuzz. And your support uh, just from commenting and liking us really does a lot. Thank you very much for all of that. And I'll read off the iTunes, the three iTunes people because I don't want to forget them a little bit later on in the show if we have time. Uh, anyway, so talking about the bombing. So uh, it ends up that the bombing is a terrorist attack. The bomb was meant to take out a bunch of cables that uh, pretty much would put the city to a standstill. Uh, traffic lights going out. There were six people that were killed uh, from the initial explosion. And I remember hearing a news report, two other people died over a train crossing incident. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so pretty much if you were a police officer or if you worked uh, you know, for the city, uh, that day must have been a really, really crappy day. Oh, yeah, hectic, to chaotic. Have <laughs> everything breaking down. Yeah. So really, really crazy. But unfortunately, or fortunately, Team Scorpion could not do anything because they were grounded or so to speak. But they don't, they don't listen. They, they don't, don't listen. listen. They don't that. listen. Mm -mm. You know, I did forget to mention, uh, I wrote it down here and something. Oh, that uh, when they were talking with Paige, and, and actually Walter was also telling Paige right before the bombing, he's like, you got to fix us. You yeah. know, we obviously have our issues. The government doesn't want to work with us that well. I believe Toby, Toby pretty much knocked everybody down with happy having hostility issues at an anger dissonance syndrome uh walter being a megalo i think a megalomaniac with you know no uh doesn't work with authority mm -hmm. uh i didn't write that one down but uh toby being a narcissist slight addiction tendencies and uh and walter just pretty much having ocd and every other uh neurosis <laughs> available you so, mean sylvester I mean, Sylvester, yes, thank you yes. very much. Sylvester having all of that as well. Yes, so uh, really, really crazy-ass group. And uh, Walter's, you know, as Toby said, Walter has a problem with authority. Mm -hmm. So Walter does not want to sit down idly by. Mm -hmm. He knows he could solve the problem. So there goes Team Scorpion trying to figure out exactly where to go. And they figure out, uh, first of all, they help out Kila. They figure out the, uh, the person who put the bomb in. Right. And then they go out on their own to, to hunt this guy down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which ends up being a very, very interesting. First of all, I mean, let's talk about that because I thought it was really, really interesting. It looked like they were down by Marie, by uh, by Santa Monica yeah. or or Venice. Mm -hmm. Probably right Venice because they had all the all the bombs. <laughs> Probably one of those, yeah. yeah, they were definitely like off the PCH. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This guy apparently lives in a really nice part of town, so yeah. really, really nice. And Happy ends up going out and, well, reaching into Toby's pocket, which yes. was a little interesting moment, he and getting it. money. He loved yeah. it. He loved it. <laughs> and she made a parabolic microphone from... A dirty I, umbrella? Um, yeah, a gross umbrella. Yeah, I guess, trash. I guess like that was from a homeless guy. Cord or something? Yeah, I don't know what the cords were, but I mean, it, it shows. I mean, definitely this episode showed a lot, I think, of happy 
Happy's usefulness in the group, mm -hmm. you know, like the fact that she could make a, a microphone out of just like looking around and just right. grabbing random things. Yeah. Crazy. I think was a really interesting talent. And then, of course, uh, when they figured out that the suspect was in the house from the, the microphone. And they call uh, they call Gallo up, but unfortunately they get spotted. Mm -hmm. Happy is the first one yeah. to go running after the guy. I mean, she is absolutely the badass. She's the one you want when things are going down because she will fight. Yeah. She Before will. we move on too yeah. much, can yeah. we just talk about that image of them standing on the street, oh her God, holding the umbrella, say. everyone's looking awkward, and they're like, look, look normal, look normal. Really. And they're all like, like it's like a statue, Everybody. just yeah, yeah. That was the just best. Chilling with the umbrella thing. Yeah. Like a, when no you get a deal. group like that and you scream out, "Look normal!" That's the last thing on yeah. their mind. Yeah. But it's they're like, all looking at him. They're yeah. all. Wait, like, look normal. <laughs> yeah, it was wonderful. It was. You're on it YouTube. Awesome. It's like yeah, it's that's like hilarious. look normal. It's like hey, you can't really do that. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that was brilliant. That it was, was great. Really, just seeing that ragtag, but and of course, uh, Happy still holding on to the umbrella yeah. with yeah. headphones yeah. on, and just like oh, just trying to look away. Yeah. So really dorky. Uh, the suspect runs off. Happy runs after him. I love Sylvester at this moment. He's oh like, my yeah, God. He, says, he says something like, he uh, says, no one will ever know if we don't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> no one will ever know if we don't do anything. Yeah. So of course, he doesn't do anything, right. and, and uh, <laughs> which is really 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 brilliant and uh Paige and uh, Walter end up jumping into that really nice car mm -hmm. another another nice little sports car yeah. that they have there and they're chasing after the suspect Toby goes to the opposite opposite side to try to stop him yes yeah. and he ends up not doing really much because he's not really a fighter no himself. yeah he tells him to stop yeah and the yeah. guy just keeps running <laughs> absolutely not a fighter at all and uh Happy ends up chasing the guy down the guy pulls a gun out and looks like he might shoot somebody or at least putting everyone at bay and then he gets hit by a bus which you know I, normally maybe would be a good thing when the guy you're chasing has a gun but unfortunately this is the only lead they have yeah. so and of course he's in a coma yeah. yeah I found it interesting that the bus hit him because it had to do with what he did with the bombing there was probably no street lights. There's probably no internet. For all yeah. you know, for all you know, it was his fault. For all you know, yeah, actually, that's a great point. Actually, for all you yeah. know, there was probably a traffic light we didn't see right there, and the bus yeah. just ran right through it or something, right? Yeah. For all we know, he was a victim of the chaos that he created. Mm -hmm. So, very, very interesting point. I like that. So, uh, anyway, of course, having this happen, and they have to call. They called it in already beforehand. So, all the officials are coming to mm -hmm. find their one suspect is in a coma. Uh, so, of course, that doesn't look well for Walter. Uh, <laughs> more trouble. More trouble for Walter uh, as far as he's still grounded. <laughs> now they're in worse trouble, and Gallo's really, really pissed off. Yep. Uh, you know, at this point, too, I, I, I want to add that the group's not really gelling too well because uh, you know, even before that whole thing, when they were just hanging out on the beach, Toby was and Sylvester were all questioning why Paige is around. Mm -hmm. So it's obvious that... Um, that uh, Walter thinks he's right. They're going rogue, mm -hmm. you know. And, and actually, you know, we even skipped the part where where Toby steals the badge oh, yeah. to to find oh, out funny. where the guy lives. That's that was right. actually really funny. And he's mm -hmm. uh, and he's with Happy uh, at that bar, and he's playing Gallo. He's trying to play a cop. Yeah. And you're a cop if you believe you're a That's cop. That's what he says. And yeah. the place where he he bet on turtles. The place where he bets on turtles. <laughs> which actually, there's a real place at least here in Santa Monica. That does that. Uh, that does that on Wednesday um, night. Where? We should go. Yes. And then show it here. Show us, like a picture of us actually doing well, it. Well, they don't have a they don't have a track like that. I was there just recently. It's really funny. It's called Brennan's. Uh, yes. in San, uh, it's on I think Lincoln Boulevard in Brennan's. And what's really interesting, they put the turtles in the center. Of a, of a big circle. Uh -huh. And the idea is the turtle needs to get to the outside of the circle and you bet on the turtle. But, but you know, obviously there's a lot of drinking involved. <laughs> and I don't know if people really bet for money, but there are lots of rules. And one of the rules is the women put the turtles in and the women have to put the turtles in the bucket in the center without bending their knees. It's like really oh. gets really, oh. like it gets really, yeah. I've, I've done that. I was out of the country. I was on a trip and there was a crab race and it was exactly the same thing. It was a circle. They're all this, you know, the, the pet crabs that you yeah. like paint their shell. Mm -hmm. So they're all in the middle. Oh, they have numbers on yeah, them. They yeah, they had colors. So like we had the gold or something. So it's we actually bet money, and it was fun. It's a fun it's night. And then the other rule I remember is you're not allowed to point at the turtles. That's a rule oh, for some really? reason. And if you point at the turtles, you have to pay money. You have to pay like there's a fine. What? Which is really funny when you're drinking at a bar. I'm sorry we're digressing, guys. I really yeah. apologize <laughs> for this, but this is actually really funny. If, if, if you're drinking at a bar and you're looking at turtles, it, it's harder than you think not to point. Oh. A lot of people start. Spending I money. I would spend all my money just pointing. Probably like, just like you'd be like, oh, look like, at that one. Well, well you're yeah. like invested in your turtle. You want your turtle. You're like, yeah. go, go. And you're like, oh, crap. I owe 20. It's like 20 
bucks like a oh point my gosh. or something and they it goes to charity but it's really weird okay, anyway okay anyway okay that's my plug for that place they better get us free beers if we ever go down there yeah, what's it called uh it's called brennan's brennan's yes brennan's, we're absolutely coming. brennan's were coming uh anyway <laughs> so uh the guys are grounded they're back at uh they're back at their base mm -hmm. and it looks like things are pretty much gone but then uh gallo comes with some equipment realizes that again you know the government is at a dead end mm -hmm. they need their help and happy discovers that the bomb fragments that they got from the suspects place uh, actually show that there was more than one bomb being right. used mm -hmm. and she figures out that perhaps this bomb malfunctioned all the bombs were supposed to go off at the same time but there's a big possibility this bomb malfunctioned and went off too early, early. and uh, Gallo says well can you be sh how can you be sure and then we hear a bunch of explosions, and yeah. Happy's like, I'm sure. Yeah. So They uh, run outside. Yeah. And they see it. Now, I just want to say, if this really happened in L.A., yeah. holy crap, I feel like... Oh it would God. go nuts. I people, feel... people can't drive in the rain. Can you imagine there's a bomb? I can't drive Sorry. in general. Yeah. You, can't that's true. you have that first bomb going off that's setting off apparently no traffic it's lights, like, all luck. this stuff. It's going to be like five hours to go one mile on the 405. It's going to be like a zombie apocalypse, yeah. but not well, really. That shot, that one shot, they're on the roof and you see like smoke coming yeah. up oh, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Huge. Holy crap. That was amazing. You know, that I would, I think we would be evacuating the city if it was something like People that going on. People would go nuts, on. yeah. People would go nuts. I'm amazed they got anything done and got to drive around the rest of the episode. Oh, I, it would have been it would have been crazy. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So they discovered that there is uh, another bomb, or other bombs. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see. I'm just going well, the, through. The reason here. for the bombs was that they're trying to destroy this one file that is on the web, right? Yes. So they're trying to uh, destroy different places where. They're trying to destroy all like traces. A, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, of all one, traces of, of a file. Well, they figured out from the bombs, because remember, they thought they, they it was an armored car. They, mm -hmm. they discovered the locations of the other bombs. Mm -hmm. And once, Paige actually was the one, and she was being frustrated with the group because she heard them talking about her not fitting in. Yeah. And, uh, and actually, you know what, what I was going to say about Paige, too, is she's not fitting in. They're talking about her, but Walter stands up for her, which I thought was really, really nice. And mm -hmm. Walter, we learn a little bit more, again, about um, everyone except for Sylvester. I'm waiting for this to happen because he talks about um, Happy um, having stand-ins at a fabrication contest. I have no idea what that is. I tried to look it up. No idea what that is because um, she hates being judged. Mm -hmm. uh, we heard that uh, when he found um, Toby, Toby was going to be Toby was be be beaten up by, by a, an Atlantic City um, pit boss. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, so at a casino. Mm -hmm. We said last week he's probably been banned at every single casino yeah. for right. all his talents. And then Sylvester... Well, I don't even want to go into what Sylvester, where I found yeah. Sylvester. So, again, very mysterious about Sylvester. I'm waiting to see what the big... Yeah, I'm I definitely yeah. think they're going to bring it back. Yeah, what the big reveal about Sylvester is. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure you, you want to think it's something really stupid and goofy, but I'm right, wondering... Right, because we found out today that he was fired from one of his jobs because he spilled sanitizer <laughs> on blueprints. He was in a building, yeah, he was a building uh, council. Yeah. Right. After one day got fired for doing that. So, yeah, because of course he's a major germaphobe. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, absolutely. So, anyway, so Paige was feeling left out she had a little pep talk with with Walter and she stops Toby Toby's trying to shut her down and she shuts Toby up she says don't interrupt me says that because of her job her past job experience she knows that the armored car wouldn't be a target because there's no way of knowing how much money's inside they mm -hmm. figured out they figured out that the building was the target mm -hmm. and then they, they that's how they found out about they figured out the email because they went from the distribution network when they had those three boxes right. distribution yeah. To the slow router, or was it slow router, slow server? Yeah. And then the third location, they figured out that this guy has to attack if they want to um, get rid of whatever it is on the internet that they're trying to hide mm -hmm. would be a router. Mm -hmm. And then we don't know why, but Toby, being Toby, figured mm -hmm. out exactly which router to go to because there's like hundreds and millions of routers yeah. and nobody knows where the router was, but Toby figured it out. They go to the router, uh, and they discover that it's uh, all about Keeler. Yes. That this yeah. mysterious FSG gotcha. guy, and he is, he's actually been spying on the White House, spying on the State Department, who knows what illegal activities he's doing, obviously something traitorous, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, so not a good guy. 
And uh, right around that moment when they figure that out, Happy discovers a, a noise. A noise, yeah. And, of course, Happy, uh, what I love about Happy is she is the most likely one to go into. She's proactive. Yeah. She's proactive. Right. She's the one that's going to go into the, the flame. Mm -hmm. And she's so athletic, right? She just opens the thing, pulls herself up. Yeah. And... Oh, yeah. She's a badass. Yeah. And, and right, Marissa? She's a badass. Yeah. Just like Marissa. Just like Marissa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She'll take that. I'll take that. She'll take that. So, uh, yeah, she discovers the bomb, and we see everyone doing their typical thing, so Sylvester, yeah, uh, Sylvester, probably so happy to be leaving yeah. because he doesn't want to get caught. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> he doesn't want to get caught in the blast, so he's leaving with Keller uh, to uh, decrypt the file. With, mm -hmm. uh, with not, I'm not, not Keller. Keller. I'm sorry, he's leaving with with, um, with Gallo, Gallo to decrypt yes. the file by mm -hmm. Keller. Thank you very much. I don't mm -hmm. know what I'm saying here. And uh, Toby and Paige are running into the building to try and get everybody out because they feel a fire alarm will not get enough people out. Yeah. That leaves Happy with Walter to defuse the bomb, which is five minutes and 31 seconds according to Sylvester's estimation from the beeps. Yeah. The beeps and the speed of the lights. And the speed and of the lights. Every, yeah. Yes, absolutely. So, it, you know, if this was any normal show <laughs> and there was a bomb, you yeah. know, there would probably be like a red wire and a blue wire and the big decision would be oh which one to clip. Yeah. And then, of course, there'd be a countdown and it, it would try, you know, the, the idea of the show would be to try and get as close to zero as possible yeah. before you finally clip the right wire, mm -hmm. the it correct makes wire. It makes think of 24. Yeah. You know, that's 24. It's like, oh, it's, one second. Ding. It's oh, very 24. It. It's very, you know, it's a very cliche type thing whenever it is a bomb. But, you know, what I loved about this this is happy was like there's no time there's right. nothing we can do about this right now i can't it, it's it's going to set to go off in so many different ways so uh what i thought was you know in, in our typical like we don't understand exactly how this works yeah. Yeah. but happy understands kind of like getting the microphone from yeah. the beach making one up she figures out in the in the space where they're at she sees all the materials to create some compound mm -hmm. with salt that they can bury the bomb in and as long as the compound hardens, hardens. it was like it, cement, right? Like concrete it turns, or yeah, something it was like cement. a cement type yeah. of thing yeah. fixture. But I guess the salt speeds Makes, up the hardening yeah. process mm -hmm. as long as you stir the salt in, and it would mute the bomb so that at least the bomb would go off only in the garage, the, the, which is where they were, yeah. yeah, which is where they were in the garage. So uh, you know, brilliant, mo you know, very tense moment. You would think, you mm -hmm. know, these two people who, who they it's saying the bomb is going to go off, mm -hmm. but we got to do this, and Walter. You know, it just shows again, Walter really cares about everybody in the building. Right. He wants yeah. to save everybody in the building and even wants to save Happy. So he has Happy leave, stirs everything, stirs the whole thing up. Mm -hmm. And while Paige and Toby, Toby gets hit um, <laughs> right. by some by guy door. by the door. Has a bloody nose. And Paige saves him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Happy later says, you should have kept them in there. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and we see that and we see uh, Walter going to work on that compound to mm -hmm. mute mm -hmm. the bomb. Uh, meanwhile, Walter, uh, not Walter, um, Sylvester and Gallo are, are in their uh, official government vehicle. Mm -hmm. There's the big old uh, Escalade mm -hmm. driving down. And uh, Sylvester says something about not trusting government officials, which I thought was interesting considering he's yeah. talking to Gallo. And Gallo saying there's nothing to worry about. And, of course, at that moment, they get hit, hit. by another Escalade. Keela. And, you know, that's what I love about the show. I love the show when it gets physical. Yeah. Because we don't expect it. Yeah. Sure. And the people, and we see, we know that Happy will get physical. But not but the other ones. Was she, that? Not she, the other ones. Yeah, she wasn't there. Especially Sylvester. Well, Walter, well, Walter got a little physical last week. And I don't think Toby can get physical. And Sylvester, yeah. I think Sylvester will get physical. It's just a matter of you, you had to motivate him. And, yeah. and we saw that a little bit today. Mm -hmm. uh, really badass fight between Keeler and, uh, and Gallo that culminates toward the end there. Uh, you know, Keeler was going to shoot Sylvester and, and Gallo stops him from doing that and they get into this big old fight. Uh, and, uh, and Sylvester, which I thought obviously was very unlike him, notices the gun goes under the Escalade. So mm -hmm. here's big Sylvester trying to squeeze. Think of all the germs on the, on the I floor know. of a city street. And he's touching someone else's gun, which I'm sure he probably could tell you all the different mm -hmm. kinds of germs that are on there. Or who <clears> knows, maybe he has some fact about officers not cleaning the outside right. pistol. I don't know, whatever. Oh reaches down there, gets the gun, and he saves Gallo yeah. in a very weird way. Um, he just shoots up in the air and says, I don't know who I'm going to hit, but I'm going to hit somebody. Yeah. And Keeler just gives up rather than take a chance yeah. that, uh, that Sylvester may Shoot hit him. him. Yeah. I think that was a little odd, but I think Keeler just knew he was done. 
Yeah. Um, and then and then Gallo just gets one last little smack in on Keeler to make up for all the beatings that he took from Keeler at the yeah. end. Um, and so pretty much we end up seeing uh, everyone's outside of the building. Uh, meanwhile, everyone else is outside of the building. The time is running short. No sign of Walter. And of course, in a very cliche type moment, we see there's no time left. The bomb explodes. Lots of Smoke, smoke, ash, whatever that yeah. is, yeah. and no sign of Walter right away, and then he <laughs> just he walks, just walks out badass. with some swagger. Yeah, he just shows a little swagger. Just a little scratch yeah. on the face. Just a little scratch. Yeah, absolutely. He so, had no issues coming out of there. Yeah. He was just. It, it had to. They had to make it like that, just because I think <laughs> they had to shoot it that way, because then they showed Paige, and Paige's face was like, ah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there, there, that moment, and there was another moment earlier in the show that we definitely saw the little, the when, little right, yeah, when she when she spoke up, yeah, when she spoke up, he About. gave her the he gave her the lip, you know, when guys give the woman the lip, they go, <laughs> I know, they do like she, a biting wait, or licking on the lip kind the, of thing. Marina pointed it out while we were watching it. Yeah. She's lip? like, oh, did you see yeah. that? <laughs> Some guys will do that. It's very annoying. They'll like look at you like you're a piece of meat, and he totally <laughs> did that. He was like. Are you and saying the, he looked at her like a piece of meat? No, I mean, that's not what they probably intend to, but, you know, they're just, like, kind of, like, turned on about what happened. Yeah. And, and, and it's just, like, a natural thing. Okay, I will admit that but he probably was, totally, was turned on. There was totally a lip thing going on. <laughs> yeah. There was a lip thing going on. Okay, yeah. I'm going to have to rewatch that. Now I really want to see what the lip thing is. <laughs> I don't know if it was a lip thing. I thought it was an eye thing. Like, hmm. Yeah, but, he, he looked down. He checked her out. Yeah, he, he checked, checked her out. He looked down on her, and he did something with his lips. Yeah. So, <laughs> Just so, out there. so this was the other way. This was her looking at him. This yeah. time, this was her looking at him. Yeah. So yeah. we're definitely seeing these little moments, these little yeah. brief glimpses of, hey, look at that person. Check it out. Well, that totally. Person. I mean, if you saw somebody that had just saved. You know, everyone else, day. and there he comes out of this bomb. Totally. I would totally be all goo goo gaga yeah. over it. <laughs> totally. Well, we know we know it's going to get there eventually. Right. So yeah. these, are, time. these are the moments these that we get moments. to look back on, like halfway through the season or toward the end. We go, oh, remember that moment yeah. and this moment? That, that's like one of looking those. looking back at Rachel and Ross's relationship. We're going to be looking oh. back at Paige and Walter's relationship. Okay, yeah, I can totally see that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I totally see that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so pretty much they saved the day. Uh, a couple of interesting notes toward the end. Um, first of all, uh, we get a little a little insight into Gallo, mm -hmm. where uh, you know Gallo. Uh, we find out that Gallo actually really needs Team Scorpion more than he's let on in the past. Mm -hmm. That they that he actually trusts them, even though even though Walter doesn't necessarily trust Gallo for whatever their history is. That we still don't know a hundred percent exactly what happened mm -hmm. to Walter as a kid. Uh, I mean, we know a little bit from the yeah. pilot. He did mention about the um, the the thing he created for food supplies being turned into uh, weapons, Wait, but yeah. but you know maybe there's more there. We don't know that. But even though he doesn't trust Gallo, uh, that Gallo trust not only does he trust them, he has to trust them, right? Mm -hmm. Because this is his. You know, he got demoted from New York. Uh, he talks about um, being. He flamed out in New York. Uh, over the Baghdad incident, mm -hmm. and he said something about 2,000, um, I was going to say calories, casualties, <laughs> civilian casualties, uh, which, you know, I, I don't know if, if the Baghdad incident was, uh, I don't know what he's referring to in the Baghdad incident, but when I hear flamed out in New York, yeah. and I hear 2,000 civilian casualties, I think 9-11. Right. So I don't know if, if, if that was a reference to that mm -hmm. or, or whatever, but we know that there's definitely 15 years, um, you know, uh, between of history with these people, so it could refer to anything. Mm -hmm. Um, so I thought that was really, really interesting. But I think it definitely also shows uh, Gallo being very vulnerable. Again, you know, it seems like this is the second week in a row where we see Gallo being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Last week he was talking about losing a child or having a child, um, you know, in danger. Oh, his daughter. Remember his, his daughter? daughter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When they when they were eavesdropping accidentally on him uh, talking. And this week, here, here he is talking about he was burnt out. He's, he, he messed up in New York, flamed out. This was more of a demotion than a promotion. Um, so I'm, I'm wondering what this is leading to. It seems like these little moments with Gallo. Yeah, I actually am shocked at the way his character has evolved in just mm -hmm. three episodes. Because after episode one, I thought Gallo was going to be a hard ass. Like, yeah. And I didn't think he was going to be so important to the Scorpion team or that I would be... Uh, learning more. I didn't think he was going to be so crucial to the show. Yeah. I didn't. I honestly didn't think so. I thought he was going to be, yes, their boss, mm -hmm. but that's it. Hmm. 
he's definitely part of the group. He's yeah. part. He's uh -huh. like a re. He is in the cast. Like he is Scorpion. He yeah. is part he, of Scorpion. He is their way in, right? Because yeah. again, they're horrible with people. There's no way that they would be able to work with any other. Well, that's what Paige is for. I don't think Gallo's there necessarily to no, try no, to no. smooth things over. No, but. no, no, not to smooth things over between them, but yeah. just like to get them in those situations. Like he has the connections the, in the to government. Get the jobs, and, yeah, like the to, gigs. To essentially. actually be able to like do the jobs yeah to like, work with they, these people yeah they need him because gallo is like the connection right they'll call gallo and say hey this is hap this happened well absolutely mm -hmm. i mean this task force was or, or this group was created with homeland to mm -hmm. solve all these cases not right. just terrorism case this is the first i think instance of terrorism that we've seen and, and i guess technically it wasn't really terrorism it was somebody yeah. from the fsg yeah. just trying to cover his tracks right. by by under the guise of, uh, of a bomber mm -hmm. so uh we haven't really seen a, a major terrorist th threat yet but it's been very interesting cases. We've had the uh, the LAX bug in week one, uh, that that had all those planes up in the air. Last week was the biohacking guy, right. and now this week is this uh, this this Bomber. federal agent, this agent doing this uh, whole bombing thing to to hide uh, secrets. Mm -hmm. So very interesting, uh, you know, types of cases that they're taking on so far. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this seems like a group that could definitely you know fight terrorism but you know as we saw homeland still doesn't trust even if gallo does i think i think it's still going to be a rocky road for them mm -hmm. with the government as far as doing government cases they're 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 the annoying people that you have to hire yeah. when you can't think of anything else yeah. Yeah. that's the way they're showing up yeah. uh also what's interesting about this episode which uh, the ending of the episode which kind of mirrors last week too it's mm -hmm. it ends with all of them together mm -hmm. bonding going for food they're picking up Ralph this time. All bloody. Still all bloody. <laughs> Didn't care that we're all, picking up a child. I know. They even got Gallo there. He's got, he's got a white with shirt. Blood. With, with blood. And they're, they're, Sylvester. <laughs> and they're all making jokes and like being cute to Ralph. I know it's it's it's, it's, it's ridiculous, yeah. but it just you know what That's these fine. are with the exception of Gallo and Paige, probably these are probably the kind of people who aren't thinking about their appearance yeah. necessarily. Yeah. It's right. like oh, I have something on my face, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So and and we get to the answer, which we already knew from the beginning. We mentioned it, you know. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Walter gave a question to Ralph to yeah. uh, to to have him spend some time instead of trying to relate with other kids, just to work his mind about what kind of j what kind of punch to jellyfish like. Yeah, that was a question. Yeah, and it was a smack, mm -hmm. and uh, a smack because a group of jellyfish is a smack. Mm -hmm. Is it a smack? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah right. A ma oh no, yeah. no, not a smack. No, it was. Uh, what was it? It's it was a smack. No, because well, smack was from the smack was from the, the which military, was also a cool yeah. moment. That was the military yeah. speak. Smack. It was something very similar to that because I remember when they said it. Yeah, I was like, for oh. the military, it was social what mind as ability. Punch? Yes, coordination and knowledge. Which I love that. Yeah. But for the soldiers' mind as ability, coordination yeah. and knowledge. Oh, what was no? It wasn't smack. What's a group of jellyfish called? Oh, it was. Oh. It was similar to smack, though. <laughs> it was similar to smack, but that's not a that's not a punch. Oh, I guess yeah. it is a punch, is it? If it is, then oh wow! Then I didn't even realize that they, they said smack twice, and I didn't even write well, that down. I'm not sure. A group of jellyfish is actually called a smack, though. It is, is called it? a smack. Yeah. So, so there we go. Oh wow! So that's interesting that actually we use they use smack twice. Thank you. Sorry, I just forgot to Marisa mention. Marisa coming thing. to the rescue. Yay! Ha happy coming to the rescue here. Thank you for that. I'm surprised I didn't write that down. But anyway, so a group of felt jellyfish is a smack. Then of course all these <laughs> brainy guys are starting to come up with all these like a group of this is that, that a group of yeah. that, a group of lions is a pride. I remember that one's an easy one. Mm -hmm. I know a group of they didn't say a group of crows is a, a murder, but I knew that a one. A group of hippos do something lay somewhere. I yeah, I can't yeah. remember. We yeah. didn't have time to write them all down. But the important one was a group of scorpions is a cyclone. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and a scorpion are incredibly loyal to their cyclone mm -hmm. and if one goes down they all come after that yeah. so again another big moment another bonding moment mm -hmm. uh, you know another tender moment mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> if you will yeah. um, what I'm loving about this is I definitely love the themes of family that we've been seeing right. uh, I did read um, with Walter O'Brien a real life one like with his company he, he definitely talks a lot about people with high IQ having low EQ and his company brings a lot of geniuses they probably wouldn't get along in the real world in other jobs and has them working together to solve major major cases like mm -hmm. Team Scorpion obviously helped with the uh, um, the suspects from the Boston Marathon bombing right. yeah. and they've done a lot of other things too um, a lot of cases too so I, I think it's really really mm -hmm. nice uh, you know, when Walter says that he found all these people at times in their lives and they didn't fit in, uh, it you know, he got them to fit in. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it really is, it gives you that little feel good, like heartstrings type moment toward the end. Mm -hmm. No matter how, you know, um, 
how much they mess up or how blunt they can be or right. whatever it is. I mean, we all love all, I think we all love all of them so far. Yeah, they all yeah. have something really adorable yeah. and something really cool about them. Agreed. If we met them in real life, I don't know, maybe maybe, <laughs> maybe they'd be like, you guys are stupid. Yeah. <laughs> right. But uh, anyway, so um, how was that? Did I miss anything? I know we went through a lot of it. Um, I don't think so. The one thing I would say is uh, that Sylvester also memorized the 30 pages. Oh, my God. Yes. On the email to, oh, that's right. to incriminate Thank you. Be Killer. Because they lost the files yeah. completely. Yeah. And Sylvester remembered third. And this kind of goes back. Cause there were some comments on YouTube, about actually. About it, yeah. yeah. About me saying, well, why didn't they bring a camera? And, and people were saying, because you're, you're not allowed to. What if yeah. you got caught? And I, I guess that all makes sense. They just never said it. Yes. Yeah. But, you know, and, and, and again, my whole thing was the next scene. They, like, have all these papers and they're ruffling them and it's like okay I get that you can memorize things but how can you write all that stuff down and have all these sheets together of paper yeah, yeah. so but here, there we go it shows exactly I, I think it gives a really clear um, picture so right. to speak pun intended of Sylvester's photographic memory yeah. right um, which is amazing. That right. Geez. Can you imagine? Because that took it would be yeah. great. that took like two se <laughs> They like took like ten seconds to look through all pages. that information, Memorize and he it. went through thirty pages of that yeah. stuff. So really, really awesome. Really, really amazing. Um, yeah. Again, I just love this episode, and I, I love. Really I'm loving this show so far. Um, I mean, I'm expecting a lot more from great. it. And uh, I want to look up the iTunes thing, but uh, but you know what? We'll just go straight into. How about we just do some predictions? Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. And now, you're after Buzz TV predictions. I love the music because now we're getting close to Halloween. Yeah, this, like, is, yes. this is the best month. This is the best month for that segment. Uh, so we, we, you know, without spoiling anything, because I know there are always some people who don't mm -hmm. like to look at scenes from next week. We didn't really get to see much from next right. week. No. Uh, anyway, so it seemed pretty generic. So what do you guys think about well you know what we'll talk a little bit about what happened so if you if you don't like watching uh scenes from uh the following week you know tune out for the next like, 30 seconds while we just go over we, we see it seems like uh walter gets framed yes. for something and it looks like I, I couldn't tell but it looks like they're almost like in a casino so maybe um maybe i i feel like there's some gambling involved May or something yeah but i don't know if it's be i don't know yeah i saw that but i was wondering if that's just a way to get information for what they need or if that's where this is taking place it was so quick yeah, yeah. but yeah a little it's, bit of that it's very difficult to come up with predictions considering every episode every episode is very difficult different and it's right? a procedural but right, i'm guessing there's certain things um, um what you have something? i was just gonna say so there's definitely something with toby in the next episode yes and i think um, maybe it's gonna come across that Toby was trying to frame Walter somehow. Mm. You know, because he had on the preview yeah. he has that moment with Walter saying, you know, I just, I just wanted to show you that I could. There's do a it. moment. Like, there's a moment about that. I could totally see that. Yeah, yeah. but you know, I, I don't think that's gonna be the case. I think he was actually trying to like stop it, maybe. Mm. But he wanted to. To prove that he could do it alone. Yeah. Well, so, I always feel that, like that. I always feel like Toby has the capacity to go. I mean, we saw him steal Gallo's badge, right. yeah. which I thought was really funny when he gave the badge back to yeah. Boot. So we know that he has the the ability to go rogue on his own mm -hmm. and to not be trusted. Yeah. And to possibly, you know, cause kind of like what he did in the pilot episode when he had money and he ended up gambling it all away. Yeah. He has the ability to make things go wrong. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm sure that that might have something to do with Walter being framed, that Toby screwed up somewhere or went on his own direction, maybe to gamble, mm -hmm. to gamble. for example. Um, I want to say, do you, do you have anything? or? I just, my, like Marina's mm -hmm. right, I think it's very difficult to predict, but I think that somebody, they keep talking about, like, loyalty. Like, that was the point at the end of the show. Yeah. Somebody is kind of with what she was saying. I think somebody is going to be not loyal to the group, mm -hmm. and it's going to cause a clash it's going to, you know, maybe not this episode that's coming out, maybe yeah. in two weeks, but someone is going to betray the group in some way. I love that. I think I think you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I don't think we're going to see it right away. I think it's yeah. going to be something that's probably, you know, to me, it feels like something almost for a season finale where you don't trust somebody or someone goes rogue. And I think the way they're building it up right now, because so far the last two episodes, we've seen these really sympathetic moments with Gallo mm -hmm. that I really think it's going to be Gallo in the end. They're just building up a case for Gallo to be like, oh no, he's on their side. Mm -hmm. And you even said it, he's part of the team and he ends up not. That's funny. I yeah. think Gallo's gonna die. 
You think Gallows oh, are gonna die at the end of the season because of how they're portraying him like this nice person and he's just so trustworthy mm. and he's gonna put his life on the line. That's a big prediction. And I know, I'd but say. and I wasn't gonna say it, but because you brought him up, it was like, okay, now I have to say you it. Have to be before somebody else does. Because you're going completely different, so I'm gonna establish no, that now fine. that yeah. like. At the end of the season, I think he would be like the person because the show can go on without him. Yeah. If right. it were to be picked up right. for second, third season, it will go on without him. Especially if by the end of the season, the government, like they, they earn the government's trust, right? And yeah. the government like believe in the Scorpion mm -hmm. and, and so what they do. I think I, he'll die as a hero. I, well, <laughs> I don't think I don't think he'll die because first of all, the CBS procedural. I, don't, I think and I think he's crucial to the to the show because he's the liaison like you said before with the government cases right. mm -hmm. so i don't think he's going to die but that's a pretty ball i like ballsy predictions that's a ballsy prediction <laughs> but it's not for next week and you know what i mean this is like if he dies next week I'll i be will crazy. holy crap that'll be crazy i'll be crazy i'll, be I'll like, go work in predictions or something <laughs> <laughs> work You'll with the psychic. Work with psychic. That's what it is. You know, one thing I do want to say that, um, and and you know, last week I noticed it, and I guess I didn't think much of it, but I just keep noticing these interactions with Happy and Toby, oh, and there's yeah. gotta oh, be. Yeah. We haven't really brought it up yet, but yeah. there's obviously something it that's is, gonna it, happen. Yeah. With They're those like two. first grade, you know, when you're first grade yeah. and you like somebody and yeah. you just treat each other badly. Yes. Yeah. You know, like totally you're just like, like I don't like. They this, have this total love hate relationship. Yeah. I don't think it'll materialize anytime soon, but yeah. we definitely know that there's some kind of like tension between the two of them. Yeah. yeah. I didn't want to bring it up because I was like, what if it's like a brotherly love thing, brother sister? No, I think it's gonna happen. Eventually. I think it's gonna happen, but of course, right. because they both are kind of like socially inept when it comes to that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that they, it's gonna be like a whole awkward journey yeah. if they e even ever hook up. It's yeah. gonna be a completely awkward journey. Yeah. Let's so see what happens. yeah, absolutely. So uh, yeah, we're, that about wraps it up. I, I want to shout out really quick before we say our goodbyes to people on iTunes: uh, Big Boss three seven five, uh, Jason Cage, uh, Battle Girl Deb, and oh, Keyandrick. <laughs> I was said that right. Thank you so much, guys, for rating the show. Please, again, uh, if you're on iTunes, please rate, comment. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. We'll yeah. definitely give you shout outs and we read all your stuff. Uh, but speaking of social media, where can we find you, lovely ladies, during the week on social media? You guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Monsi Bolanos, M O N S E B O L A N O S. Awesome. And you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Rina Brazil. That's R I N A Brazil with a Z. Brazil with a Z. And you can find me on Twitter as well and Instagram at Nandovel, N A N D O V E L. You can also find us all on various After Buzz shows. I know Monty does Gotham, which yes. is a big hit as well. And I'm doing Homeland and Walking Dead and The Blacklist. And what do you do? You did the lottery? The, this, yeah, I, I was doing the lottery. This is the only sh fall show I'm Well, doing. she's going to do more shows. She'll be back. She'll be back. Worry. But yeah. you can catch us all on various shows. But thank you. If you want to watch more Scorpion, tune in next week for our next exciting episode. Thank you very much. Thank you. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz See you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.